So everybody, I've actually cracked my screen on my phone so I can't even use the selfie mode on this. But this is me doing a quick engine oil change 520D. Wonder what that was. Hmm. So I've parked it in the garage right now. First things first, obviously, open the bonnet. Voila. Um, it's pretty simple actually in terms of actually getting the engine oil changed on this car. As with most cars nowadays, it's literally just a matter of a, a 10 minute job if anything. So let's actually get round to changing the engine oil. So first up, you want to grab this. Basically, it's got three little areas. Hold on, I'm going to put this down here. So it's got three little areas, one, just one over there, and one behind here. They're like little rubber grommets that go and connect up into it. Once you get those, that basically the, the engine cover pulled off, you then have to remove this. This is basically held in by that little latch there, and it's just like a sliding mechanism. So ooh, I'm going to see if I can do this with one hand. There we go. That's it. You basically lift this tab up slightly so it comes over there. You rotate it that way and you take the air filter off. Leave that there for the time being. So now with this bit, bear with me. The engine bay is massive on this car. I'm literally having to walk around everything just to get anywhere with it. So. Ow. Need a screwdriver. So, got my screwdriver. Now you just gotta tuck under this and basically just pull that out of the way. And eventually, you have to get that loose. There we go. That's that side loosened up. Come round to this side. You basically, ah, oh, it's just so awkward to do with just one hand. You have to kind of push that one in, and then, and then that should hopefully slide off. Ah, let me use two hands for this bit, hold up. So basically as you pull that out and up, this will slide upwards, which then I have to now come back around this side. So you don't want to do everything all in one big go, and that's it. While that's out, you might as well give it a good clean. I'll do that later on. There we go. Take off the sound insulation. Just there. So now that you've taken off the sound insulation, you can get a good view of where the oil filter is. So that basically you have to just loosen up. I'll do that shortly. And there's basically the engine. Such a really small compact engine bay. Look how much space you have at the front. It's insane. You can tell this en engine bay has been made to fit a lot bigger engines and they've just basically stuck a smaller one in for the, for the economy and everything like that. So, obviously you've got your engine oil cap here, which I'm just gonna leave loose for the time being. I just like to get the air ventilating into it. Now I'm going to actually jack the car up. So the jacking points in the center under the um, the engine. It's got the um, crossbar and everything like that. Once the car's jacked up in the air I can look at loosening the um, drain plug, getting my oil catcher, which I can't remember where I've left that. Awesome. But yeah, once I get all that ready I'll be able to finish up getting that changed. Oh, let me try that with a flash on. So just there, right there, that silver part, that's the jacking point under the engine bay. The reason why you need to use this is because that grey part there, that's where the 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 sump plug, yeah, sump plug is. So in order to get the jacking mounts under the area safely, you need to jack it up from here and get that over there. Good thing is we've got this jack. This is uh, great for 
car like jobs like this because he gets under there. I've got the car safely jacked up both sides. Move the jack out. Go and do the good old shake test. Again, it's better to do a shake test while the car doesn't have you underneath it. Because if it does and you've done something wrong, then, uh oh. The car is extremely dirty as well, as you guys can probably tell. So just there, that's the bolt that you want to remove, it's a 17mm and from there we'll be able to get the engine oil out. So that's after we've removed that little screw there and removed the cover. So let's get this loose. I should possibly wear gloves for this because the engine oil might come out quite hot. But there we go. Ooh. Crap, I got a little bit out on the floor. Oopsie. But let's let that drain out now. So there's the engine um, oil filter. It's a 27 millimeter. Ugh, it's a lot harder to do with one hand. Ugh, let me let me try that with two hands at least to crack it open. Now that was on very tight. Uh, at least I managed to get it loose. Not going to undo it too much. I want to get some tissue so I don't cover the engine bay with loads of engine oil. So there's the old filter in the junk pile. Over here is the new filter. So with this car, you actually want to put the oil filter in first because on the oil filter, there's like a little um, plastic bit right at the end and you want to basically find the little hole for that and then slot that in. And then from there, you got to move this one wire a little, this one just there on the side, and then just slot this in. And then hopefully, once it catches, make sure it's caught on properly. So I'm anti-clockwise spinning it right now. There we go, I feel that's on now. Then you got to start tightening it up. I'll do that properly once the car's lowered, because I'm not that tall and it's quite a reach. So while this is out, this is actually a good way for me to show you how this little cover works. This little screw goes into that little part of the plastic bit. That's obviously hooked underneath. So then you basically screw that on. Once it's all in place, there's the 8mm. So I'm just going to go put that back on now. So once everything else is done, basically, get the funnel ready, get the engine all ready, and just pour it in. Once you've finished filling everything up, um, just make sure you double check the dipstick, which is just over here. It's just a little red tab. Can't see it now. Great. It's gone too dark and I don't have my flash on right now. But either way, it's just there. Um, connect everything back up. Make sure the engine oil is all level and everything. Leave the car to settle. Again, I like to go for a little bit of a drive. Let the car settle again. And then check the engine oil level. Purely because I don't, you know, the car's off at an angle, the oil's still going down and everything. So you want to give it a good circulation. I always try to underfill before I overfill. So just word of advice. Ah, damn it, I forgot to record this bit. But I just done it now. So it's all about the services being due. So um, what you have to do is you have to hold the left one down. You'll see the trip meter go and then it'll come back and then the services will come up. So you can select through all the information. Um, so obviously it says reset possible or reset not possible. Now I just reset the engine oil one. All you then do is you basically hold the uh, trip meter again. It will say, um, would you like to reset? And then you hold it again, like you let go and then you hold it again and then it will reset itself. A little bar will come up, it'll go across and that'll be it basically. So that's it, it's all done. Engine oil's been changed. Car's ready to be driven around everywhere. Yay! Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, you know, if this was helpful, please do give me a like. Um, if you like my other content as well, check out my other videos. If you like it, please subscribe. Um, but for now, I am going to go and chill out. I have a lot more to get done later on today. So yeah, 
it's one thing done gonna give the car a little bit of a wash as well actually now that i think about it freshen it up a little and then yeah that's it see you guys next time peace out